Pity the fool, I'm full of ones with my intelligence What's the policy of the mind, body, soul Overcome with the oblivion And my words play like an anthem And it truth will expose the intuition of the soul Deep dark thoughts you will never know I just got to take 10 Hey you guys, welcome back to the Scholar Social My name is Jonah Ruffin I'm Zayla Bryant I'm Dave Brown I'm Sonia Edwards And I'm Jilla Jackson Oh my god, it is the last episode of the season How do y'all feel? I feel phenomenal I feel great. Oh, I'm excited. excited. I'm excited and sad because yeah. this season has literally been so top so tier. Like, I oh, love yeah. every single part. And you have, I love the progression. Mm -hmm. Yes. Get yeah. into the right. right. If you don't see the progression, then you don't have eyes. Right. Simple. So, because um, it's there. With yeah. this being our last episode, this is also our last episode seeing Miss Sanai with us on the right. couch. Yes, so she's going to no. boarding school. Yeah. Tell, tell the people where you go. Okay, I'm going to boarding school in California, and I will. Can I say school? Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm going to the Kate School in California. It's a boarding school um, from 9th to 12th grade in California in Santa Barbara. So, whoo, whoo. Yes, she's going to be yes. living the life. Yes. Living the life. Yes. And she is going because. Yes. I'm going because, you know, I, that's always been my goal since middle school. You know, um, I was in the population where the majority of the students went to a boarding school and so that's mainly what I saw as ideal but once I started visiting campuses Kate just caught my eye it seemed like the feel especially because I already want to be in California it's been my dream to live in California yeah. mm -hmm. and I want to go to college in California she's not going to be so gone hard. she's still going to be here in the episode she's going to be zooming in um but yeah so let's hop into our topic today. for today I, so what we talked about Mm -hmm. So today, some recent news ran across our timeline today mm -hmm. about the Emmett Till movie okay. coming out, starring mm -hmm. fellow classmate of Sinai's, <laughs> Jalen Hall, where they're Shout basically out recreating the story of Emmett Till and putting it on the live screen. So this conversation is kind of just about trauma form. Right. And it's just it's about the, like what this means for us. But go ahead, Sinai. And just a trigger warning for everybody, for our audience out there, mm -hmm. you know, this, um, the movie and the story itself could be very emotional for us, not only us, but our audience too. So just yeah. do yes, yes, yes. And yes. I just I, want to give a shout out to, you know, Jalen. Congratulations. Yes. Love you. Congratulations, King. We love Black people in Hollywood. We love it. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, this is going to be a very, very, very interesting and emotional topic. But I hope you guys are ready because we surely are. So <laughs> it's okay with y'all. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about it. it. Okay, so I want to start off with talking about stances. Do you guys support or do y'all? Well, can we start with what is trauma for? Right, yeah. Oh, okay. Only because I know for a lot of our listeners, they're like, like what, what is? <laughs> right? I know my first time hearing the term used was recently. Mm -hmm. And so if you're not in certain spaces, that's not really a term that people throw around. So. Right. Um, for me personally, trauma for is... Hollywood or the film industry's use of black trauma yeah. right. as a way to produce cinema or film and it's also used as a way to kind of bait mm -hmm. you know watchers listeners or mm -hmm. um, people in the, that industry right, right. I, wanted, I wanted to say black trauma as well I think trauma as a whole okay. um, because I know a lot of um, I know a lot of Hollywood movies are using like suicide mm -hmm. or like you yeah. know yeah. things like that right. so I just add that in your definition but I think it's perfect yeah. Right. So now that we kind of covered that. <laughs> yeah. What are your stance on it? Do you guys support the movie? Y'all hate it? Y'all love it? We we'll start with tonight. What do you think? <laughs> oh, can we stop? Start with me. I have to. You have to think about it. Let me marinate the thought. Let me marinate the thought. Okay. You know. Um, who has an opinion right now? I know for me. I'm not supporting it. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Well, is it is the issue with the Emmett Till movie itself, or y'all? Yes. Or is the issue with trauma war? I mean, I think trauma porn is a problem within itself, but the movie specifically, I'm not in support of. Could you okay. explain yeah, why? Yeah, yeah. Because I don't know about y'all, but I know for me, the story of Emmett Till has kind of been broadcasted all throughout my life, especially when you talk about the civil rights movement right. and like around that whole Jim Crow era. One of the main stories our teachers talk about is the Emmett Till. Of course. Mm -hmm. And so there is a projected history around it that everyone kind of mainstream, like. If you look at Emmett Till, you know Emmett Till, you pretty much know the story. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the nuanced details of it all, I don't necessarily think 
I want to know about that mm -hmm. because it just reminds me of the same result. Like, regardless of the fact that that happened, regardless of the fact that this happened, people still walked away free. Right. There was still a 14-year-old boy that ended up dead. Right. And I just like, I don't need you to retell me the story with added details of why I hate it. Why you want me to hate it more. Right. So and it. I'm so, I also agree with Dayla's point of view. I am not in support of it. And I think that your reasoning kind of adds on to my reasoning. But I'm so tired of them benefiting and making profit off of our hardships in Hollywood. It makes me annoyed. It makes me like, is that all y'all can do? Is that all you can ever use us for? Is us like dying and like the sad stories that happen? Like we, like you said, we know what happened to Emmett Till. We've heard it our whole lives. There's no need to make a movie about it. I think that it's going to be extremely, uh, in my opinion, it's unnecessary. I don't think that the story needs to come to life again, you know? Yeah. I'm on the opposing side. Only because of this, right? I understand for us, it's like we've heard the story before, mm -hmm. right? Some have it, though, right? Mm -hmm. And so there's a movie, it's called, I think it's called A Time to Kill. Mm -hmm. I may yeah. be wrong. Where it's like replaying the same day on Netflix, or is that a different movie? No, no, that's a different movie. Oh, okay. Movie. There's a movie, I cannot remember the title, but it's with Samuel L. Jackson. Basically, he was on trial for yes, killing, yes, yes, yes. yes, his daughter mm -hmm. was murdered. Yeah. And this was during... You know, a time in the South where, you know, it's based on a true story. It's based on a true story. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Right? And so, what his lawyer did at the end of the movie is he outlined everything which happened to his daughter. Mm -hmm. She was sexually harassed. She was, she was basically mutilated. Mm -hmm. Right? And she had, he had the, the jury close their eyes. And as he explained the story, he's like, now imagine if that was a white girl. Right? Everybody in the jury is like, right? Because that was a black man on trial. Because you're dealing with a black girl. They were their, their empathy was taken away from the situation, right? I think that made me think of what we're talking about now because I understand what you're saying, right? We don't need a replay. We've heard it before, but I think that if people realize how much Emmett Till or the situation kept happening, because yeah. we only get taught about him, right. we don't get t taught about the multiple people, even in 2021, where the situation like that happened. You know, where mm -hmm. a black man is put on trial or a black man loses their life for something that they didn't do. Right. right from a claim or something from a white woman or uh, women in general. Right. Right? So I like the movie, depending on how it's filmed. And what I've been seeing a lot with films like that is that they typically pay homage to the yeah. thousands right. of people who have gone through similar situations. Uh, Two Distant Strangers on Netflix, the short film. <laughs> That's right? what I'm talking about. At the end of the movie, mm -hmm. right? They run a list of black people who have been in situations of police brutality mm -hmm. over something so small like either going to get skittles or you know eating ice cream in the park or it was a list i think that it's so advantageous from that perspective right. so i don't know if i will say i support the movie or i don't right now because i don't know how they're going to use the story mm -hmm. but i think towards that message it can be beautiful I agree. Okay. I would have to agree with Jayla on this one. Um, I love the message that is being put out. Um, like you said, I don't know. I haven't seen the trailer. The trailer, it, the movie hasn't been filmed. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I actually agree with making a movie about Amy Till. Mm -hmm. To your point, I do think it pays homage to a lot of people mm -hmm. um, who have been in those kinds of situations. I respect movies that are about black people. Because if you, but because I believe uh, the movie is being made, directed by who is it? To be? Uh, it's being directed by her name is Chin Chinanye Chuku, and it's being produced by Ruby Gold. Yeah, so it's like black people making the films. I love that. I feel like as a community, we okay. haven't had that mm -hmm. in our lives. It's been white people making films about us, mm -hmm. but it's never been. I mean, it has been black people making films about us. Okay. I, I love that. I appreciate that. Yeah. And I think it's it's a necessity as black creatives. Um, I think it should be you know shown light on it. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, in my personal opinion, I'm watching the movie. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I'm we're gonna watch it. I'm watching the movie. I, mean, yeah. I support the message, and I support any other it. black movie that's being made about black people. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say my stance, and then I have a question to post to y'all. Okay. Uh, I I think I am in support of it, just mm -hmm. because yeah, like Jayla said, some people who haven't seen it, and even uh, or haven't heard the story, and even the people who have, they might have not heard. I know for me, when I listened to it, when I was hearing about it, I we watched a documentary. We had to write, and we got went in depth, and I still still believe I don't know all the facts. Like, exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. But right. some people could have just gotten oh Emmett Till. 
the, 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 the basic facts what's told and then what's like, taught in school. They don't get the you know, <laughs> they don't get the, as in depth as we, we might have had or right. other schools might have had. So I think it's just a good way to you know educate the people um, and pay homage to what happened and spread awareness. Which of course we this is what this year has been about, just spreading awareness right. about all the things. And then my question is, with your same philosophy about oh there doesn't need to be a movie about this. With the Central Park Five, the Exonerated Five now, mm -hmm. they were put on trial for something that they didn't do, right. and all this stuff. Still a story. And I didn't know about it, but exactly. I knew a lot of black people were like, oh yeah, I'm excited for the movie. I was like, what is this? What is it? Right. What is this? That movie? was so How was that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful movie. movie? Did you watch it once, and were you in support of that, and what's the difference? Um, First off, I didn't know what Central Park Five was. I didn't know anything about all of us until people started raving about it. So I was like, mm -hmm. all right, fine, let me watch it because of the hype. Mm -hmm. So I watched it. And the thing is, I didn't know anything about the Central Park Five, and I didn't, especially because I wasn't even born during the time period that it happened, and their stories got completely lived out by the time their, the film got produced. Mm -hmm. My problem with the Emmett Till story versus the Central Park Five story is that when it came to the Central Park Five, the people of Gen Z probably don't know about it because they weren't there. When it comes to Emmett Till, that's in our history books. Mm -hmm. But and I'm not, yeah. when I'm, it isn't, but the, the way in which we teach it, right? Mm -hmm. It goes, his name was Emmett Till, this is what happened, he was innocent, that's next, next yeah. right? Yeah. Rather than, he was a young boy, right? What was he like? Who was his family? What is his story, right? Mm -hmm. Same way that we give MLK, right? We know a lot about MLK and his, the way he was raised and everything like that. I, I hate that we use Emmett Till as just an example. Yeah. Right. right? Oh, and this happened a lot. But no, he was a human. But he's still being teach. utilized as an example regardless of that. Because I understand, and I like the example you gave where that last movie, they had all these examples of people doing blase, blase, blase. If the Emmett Till situation has been emulated before, I would rather see that story and Emmett Till be a supporter to that, seeing that it's not, Emmett Till isn't the monolith of what this looks like. Correct. And I want to see even them, else, right? And then you fill it in that way. Emmett Till as a figurehead rather than, I like the film because it's giving the, him the opportunity to be a human. Yeah. And not just an example. So but, that makes but, sense. While it is an example, I see him come to life rather than seeing that same picture that's flattered of him everywhere human. that's in black and white. I, it's, right. it's a powerful meaning to see somebody's you know, live on a TV screen. Like, even if it's Aretha Franklin, B Billie Holiday, mm -hmm. M.O.K., Malcolm X, it's beautiful. It's right. like, it's this feeling that you get when you watch something. Right, like and, I, and I guess I understand what you guys are saying. I definitely understand what you guys are saying, like, all of it. But my only question is, what is a movie about Emmett Till going to do? Like, what is it going to change? What, what solvency is it going to bring? Because all it is is just going to be a movie. We're going to watch it, and then... What's yeah. gonna happen next? Like that's my yeah. thing is, the movie shouldn't be like the only thing that's gonna happen. Like I don't think that. Well, that's I don't think that's the goal, or what's the after for any movie or for any film or for any movie. movement. Period. But do you think that every film should be compared to the Emmett Till film? Because the purpose of it versus the versus purpose of the Emmett Till movie. Right. Are completely exactly. Okay. So I'm saying, so you're saying they have two different plots, two different scenarios. You like say that because they're using Emmett Till's story, it has to be some charge of action. At the end, I'm saying that if you're gonna utilize somebody's story, right. somebody like Emmett Till, that literally lit the the importance of his life was his death, uh, as it is plastered across everybody's screens. I would rather there be a central message tied along to it, rather than for it to just be, oh, he lived and he died. But if I think, you, I think, oh, go ahead. If you, one thing is like, I have, I mean, I obviously have sympathy for the situation like it's a very sad situation but if I get to hear I mean I it's not him doing but if I get to hear and I get to see him playing with his siblings I get to hear um I remember the documentary it showed what his mom said at the funeral if I get to hear that it's a lot more heartbreaking it's not only yes. that but it's a lot more educating and that's another thing and they literally right? have a documentary like, about it so I'm okay. but have you seen it have you watched it a lot no, of people have but, but, but still but still but it's because I think Jayla said, said it perfectly. None of us knew knew about what's the good film called? Um, the, the, all of us. Wait, all of us? No, no, no. no. Since, no. Since, Since Rock Five. Five. None of us they knew about that. Right. When, they, they when they see us, they did not know about that. That provided education towards us to right. go to after watching the movie to learn about it some more. And the bottom line is, a lot of people don't read. Exactly. A lot of people not going to watch a documentary. They're going to watch right. a movie, right. but they're going to watch a movie, right? right. A lot of people but, don't know about what Emmett Till's mother did yeah. for him to have the funeral. A lot, the fact that he sat 
rotting for so long and that when he finally got their his body got to his hometown in the castle how bad it smelled that yeah. you could smell it all the way from down the street well, nobody nobody knew that he had an open but casket but what do I gain what do I gain from knowing that right a, 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 a sad story a, a cry the thing, that I don't my question to y'all is the burden of filmmakers is I could have a a want for what I want my audience to get from it, but the bottom line is whatever you get from it is directly connected to the audience. Right. What you get from the movie is totally different from what I get from the movie. Yeah. So y'all may be here like I don't gain anything from that, but for me I do because mm -hmm. I get to right. see him as a human rather than just some picture splattered across my book. But I okay. and I do understand that, but I don't think that's still answering my question. Like, okay, yeah, you can see him as a human. But what purpose does that serve? Like, I don't understand. Because, like you said, they already have something out talking about Emmett Did Till. you watch it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah. okay. You that has to watch it. It has me. Because people, a lot, a lot of times, if I hear something's a documentary, sometimes I'm not about to go watch the it. If I see something on a movie, if it's in the movie theaters, if it's on Netflix, right. that's I don't, different. It's not really about, like, the type of... Like she's she's talking right, about information. Saying, is right, I'm saying that there's several of things about Emmett Till out there. I would be so okay with another person that was exactly similar to Emmett Till being on a movie or being on television. But I think that because they're using Emmett Till, it's we've, we've heard it, we've seen it, we know about it. If you can use somebody else and then, like she said, feature to Emmett Till in it and be like, Emmett Till as well, then I think that it would be way more beneficial because it would give us way more information on other things that are happening rather than Emmett Till, which we already yeah, know about. I personally it. have questions for not only Emmett Till, but, well, not not one, mm -hmm. not only for the Emmett Till situation and what happened, but for his mother. Why did she ha Why did she decide to have an open casket funeral? I, I was like, so how is the movie going to answer those questions? But sometimes you don't know. But the thing is, is but you don't know. Right, like, but you don't know if they're gonna be able to answer these questions, which is okay. Like, all right, fine, we can see the movie to watch and figure that out. But what I can appreciate about black filmmakers in certain movies that they create, like Billie Holiday versus the United versus the United States. Yeah, I did not know anything about that. But did I know Billie Holiday as a singer? Yes. I love, I, but all you hear is Billie Holiday's music. But that's what we can but, possibly get out of this film as well. Right, but what I'm saying right. is there was, we didn't have any history of Billie being connected to civil rights. Yeah. But like you, like all, all, we, all we know, I, I, no, I, what you're saying is I, all we know Emmett Till as is a dead body. That right. sounds like and harsh, so, but it's true. But to go back to well, right, that's, right. that's correct, right? right? She wants to see him as a human. She, that's the, all the more reason in my opinion. Okay. 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 Well, or there to be a movie, right? right? So if you, Same as you only saw ahead. Billie Holiday's music, right? You didn't see her in the light that the, civil, that the uh, movie was giving, right? That she was an activist. Yeah. Same thing that what Day is saying, that this movie has the possibility to give us something that we did not have before, yeah. right? That's the reason why I'm for the movie, simply because of that possibility. Also, I think that the movie can also form as a way of paying our respects. Yes. Same way as Malcolm X has a movie that's amazing. And that's that's a that's a documentary. We get MLK has movies that are amazing. Yeah, we give respect to, to some of these figureheads who have paved the way for rebellion or revolt or revolution mm -hmm. or activism, right? Mm -hmm. That's why I like the movie, personally. And I will ask you the question, if it wasn't Emmett Till, would you still be opposed to the decision to make movies about black people in their lives? No. I think that, just, I, I think that, I think okay. that, oh. Okay, okay. 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 go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. I think that making movies about things that have been talked about over and over and over and that we know about is not going to bring any more attention to it than, it's already, that it, are, than it already has. I was if it was a different person with the same similar story, then it would be way more like, oh, I want to go watch this because it's something that I do not know anything about. We already know exactly what's going to happen to Emmett Till. I don't think that it's going to break a new but revelation you, or anything. How do you say that though? Because we've read about it. We watched the documentary. We've read. Before, like I don't understand. And I'm three books to a horrible job of do telling they? the story. <laughs> so I know that for sure. After I reading know. the book, after watching the documentary, I think there's so much that's left out it that people need to. Okay, listen, if they're going to make the movie and they add these different nuances and elements of knowledge that we didn't know before, if they're going to add something, I really want them to add an element of triumph. Because if you end the story off with Emmett Till in the open casket and his eye bulged out, what did we gain? Right. We're left with the same conclusion we were left with 100 years ago. And it's like, what? What, what, am I, what do I do with this? Because at the end of the day, I understand the story. I understand that he was a human. But at the end of the day, he died. He died a brutal death. Right. And the problem has not been fixed. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, I also want to ask this question. 
A lot of people want to support this movie because of awareness. We need to be reminded of where we came from. But do we have to be reminded in such a mournful way? Why can't we be celebrated? How? Why can't we have triumph? I don't understand why How? we need to be brought back to this point of uh, this poor horror and um, gore in order for us to understand <laughs> That this is where we, this is how much we evolved. Right, and looking yeah. at that, we haven't evolved much. Right, because the same things are still happening today. Yeah, right. So that's, that's my question. That's how, how, but how else would you portray it? I'm, trying to, I'm, like, I'm yeah. trying to think of any I other think the reality is that, is that unfortunately, it for black people, our past is full of. A, a lot of horrible stuff. Right, yes. and Emmett Till is not the only so person. Bad. So he's just somebody that, else. But, That's but, what I but if it wasn't Emmett Till, there will be somebody else. It would still be. Right. Crazy. But so. even with that, I'm saying like, if we need, to, if we're going to go with this idea of awareness and coming, going back to where we came from in order for us to understand how far we've gone, why do we need to go to the extremes of death? And more in order for that to be understood. But the awareness is still so. There. What you're saying is on a spectrum, right? This is everything that happened to black people. Death is the worst. No, let's do rape. It's 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 better than death. No, 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 no. no, no, no. What she said, awesome. right? What is the triumph in our black history? Because there is some. Right. She's saying she's tired of just seeing glorifying. Right. The trauma, right. Let's not. let's glorify things that are good that are happening. To but her. I'm saying no. is, what about the movie? Right. Do you think it's just going to be glorifying the trauma? Like while you watch that Why movie, is the story of Emmett Till important. No, though? but while you watch that movie, right? Whoa! While, while you watch that movie right. and say, "Oh, this is glorifying <laughs> trauma," right? For me, that might be something else, right? And that's just that just may be us. While I may be more, I'm serious, optimistic. Hold on, hold on. You may be more pessimistic when you watch the movie. You're right. And that's the difference in us. That's for me. That's not enough for the story not to be talked about because it deserves to be talked about. He deserves the movie. It has he been deserves. talked about. No, it's no, been no, talked no, about no. for she years. Oh, wait. This is what she, said, she said. The question. She yeah, said, "What? A, what? Um. Why is? Why? Why do we know the story of Emmett Till at all? Why that's is that important? Problem. That's the problem. I'm. I'm, I'm seeing the awareness here. Okay, I don't agree with that. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just um, saying. Whoa. And looking at today's society is still happening. That's glorifying the issue. Nothing has evolved. We're yeah. still back in America. Does so that make it less important? important? It does not I'm make not it less important. Less important. Okay. But it makes it unnecessary because it, it's not it makes nothing. It no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It, that's exactly why it's not necessary. If it's still happening for a hundred years later, okay, wait, what wait, is making the movie going to do about it? I have a question, right? You're saying it's unnecessary because making a movie is not going to do anything. Anything. No, but, right. but you also said that. Oh, make a movie about somebody yeah. else because we've heard Emmett Till's story. Right. Then what do you want? Exactly. What I want, okay, so what I want is more. <laughs> you gonna make a movie about it? No, because what do you want? Because no, it was babe. at one point. No, no, let me, I, yeah, I'm gonna give you what you the want. The movie is right. fine, just not like Emmett Till. Right. Not a movie that's gonna do nothing. Right, I understand. What I want is more representation for other people that are going through the same thing so people can realize that it's not just one person and it's right. not just one scenario. Right. It's happening consistently. Therefore, we need to find a solution for this. If we show Emmett Till, what, what, if, we show the, if we show the Emmett Till movie, they're going to be like, okay, it's Emmett Till. This happened 100 years ago. We can't do anything about it. And that's it. But if they show somebody else that it's recently happened, they're going to be like, oh, this is happening today. But this is happening I'm right now. Let's, let's solve this. That's assuming how the filmmakers are going to exactly. make it. We haven't seen okay, anything. So we don't know. But what we know is what we know about the Emmett Till story. Right. So what are we supposed to assume from the movie that we'll gain in order for us to get this humanistic approach that you're talking about? Maybe you might not gain, but other people might We still don't know. So I understand that we should be hopeful that this movie does something or it shows something outside of him being the Emmett Till that we monolithically know. But in the instance that we, that doesn't happen. But, or in the instance that it does. but literally we have precedent of that not happening. There's been several movies and several documentaries and several articles written about things that have happened long times ago and still nothing has happened. So what is the Emmett Till movie gonna do that's so different that's gonna like create this whole horror? Right now you're talking about the like, black culture. I'm confused. You're talking about the evolution of black people. In America, that's what that's what you're talking about. I don't think a movie or anything is going to get us a step further because it hasn't. A movement hasn't done anything either. So what? That's I, a lot. I mean, <laughs> let me take it back. But, like, but, but what I'm saying here, what is your alternative? I don't see any solution. To I, this did, I, I I I literally said. But, it but if you're saying I, the movie is not going to do anything, I don't understand how the representation you talk about is going to do anything different than the movie being about Emmett Till would. Okay, 
I got you. I, I think that Emmett Till is a name that we already hear, right? That's more of an incentive for people because this is how this is a lot. This goes into marketing. how people set up the film industry, right? right. Marketing, right? Mm -hmm. If we know Emmett Till is a name that many people know, right? There's never been an Emmett Till movie before. That's more of an incentive for people to get their butts up and go see that movie and learn and educate themselves. While I understand the point that you're trying to make that in representation for others, Obviously, it's now it's for people will say, "Oh, this is an issue, not just with one person, so we should address it." Right. But I feel like at the same time, with Emmett Till being the name we hear larger, it creates a bigger spotlight for smaller names. But what if that know, doesn't happen? Even, like what? What? Because what I, if it does? Even if the, when has it? Do you yeah. remember a single name that was bro broadcast at the end of the movie with that uh, Central trial? Five? Central Five. Yeah. Okay. Do you remember anybody's yeah. name outside the people that they showcased? The like, right. What, what exactly. do you say? That's the reason for them not to have. That's no, saying that I'm it's saying, not doing what you just I'm said that it's going to do. Saying, it it does, that's not my fight. What I'm saying, I have a problem with trauma porn in and of itself. Firstly. And I just don't like the idea that this keeps being broadcast. It's okay, aware, it's okay, educating yourself. But certain people don't watch the movie for the purpose of education. They watch the movie for entertainment first. And second, the people that need to be the most educated are the ones that aren't going to see the movie. Literally, Because any black people, yes, a lot of us are going to pay homage and we're going to um, show encomium to this movie. Yes, because that's a connection. We know this past. Right, right. literally. But when it comes to people like, um, from other backgrounds, other ethnicities, what is their incentive to want to see this? Like, I know that I, I, the only reason why I would want to, regardless of all the reasons why I don't, is because of the fact that I'm black and I connect to it. Literally, and, and what I just said proved your point wrong, because you said at the Emmett Till movie, it could have these lists of names right. that, pays, that has, like, pays homage to all these people that have gone through the same thing, but she couldn't even remember a single name that was played at the end of Central Five. So what is having these names in little small text going to do? But also at the same time, first of all, we can't let I be the benchmark. For whether people but I mean, she's a person that watched the movie. And but she cannot be the benchmark for whether I'm not saying she's a she didn't get any What we're talking about or not. My biggest opposing thing to what you guys are saying is that, A, you have to say that because it's showing trauma, yeah. right? It's not doing anything for mm -hmm. the black community, right? I don't understand that point only because there's several movies created as a way to commemorate and to show homage, right, to these figureheads that we have in the history books, okay. right? So let's say, let's scrap all of those, right? And we only make movies about black triumph, right? If you're saying that frequency is the reason it shouldn't happen, wouldn't that same desensitizement go either way? Frequency? You're yeah. saying that because of how much is produced, it doesn't do anything. Why can't we just balance it out? It's not a pick or a choose, honestly. I'm saying right. So if balance is a solution. Let's go ahead and do that. But I don't think that's a reason for the Emmett Till movie not, not to be. But the thing is, if, okay, if you want to pay homage to the movie, then create the movie. But I'm not going to watch that for any other reason. And my and my biggest issue with what you guys are saying is it, Emmett Till itself. Like himself, I don't feel as if it's necessary. We know so much about him. We know but the story. You know. Yes, we do. We but literally you don't do. Know that. We do. But, I know a lot about Emmett Till. I do. But give me one thing you know about about Emmett Till that nobody else knows. But let's go back to what Dang. you said about. Let's go. No, <laughs> no, 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 Everybody knows you. Everything about it. I'm not saying we know everything about it. So you just but what, neither no, not. no, but no. The reason right. why we attacked Jonah on that point because he I, no, 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 no. said right. I know a lot about Emmett Till, and he asked him to give us a point. He fled. <laughs> I didn't say I know everything about Emmett Till. No, no, no. I'm no, saying no, no, okay. that there were names at the bottom of the thing that people can remember. I'm saying okay, remember one. That's not what we said. We but said that the fact there were a list given of many people who have gone through the same thing was enough to broaden our perspective on it. Whether she know the names for Braden is not the issue. But did it broaden your perspective? But hold on, the the thing was that we okay. saw a list. It, it educated. I didn't even know about the situation. We saw a list of many thing. people who have gone through the same thing. Okay. That was the goal of that. That is All entirely right. different than what we just saw with Jonah. Okay. okay. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna name mine. All right. Wait. Wait. Okay. So <laughs> no, final I'm... question: Are you guys going to watch the movie? I am. I am. Yes. Yeah. And I'm gonna support my friend too. But yeah, Are you gonna watch it? I'm not watching the movie. I still stand strong. <laughs> watch it, watch it. Because guess what? At the end of the day, y'all all watch it if it's important and if there are facts that I need to know, you guys will tell me. And the shade room will too. And the shade room will too. <laughs> it's not the only source to find information. That is my opinion on it. 
And I believe you all in the homage and paying tribute to somebody's story and making them a human. I respect that and I honor that. So I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I but think that at the end of the day, both sides are valid. Yeah. But right. we're there's a lot to ask of filmmakers. Right. It's hard to make mm -hmm. films and mm -hmm. for them to do what was intended to do. You can't control mm -hmm. everybody from one side. So right. I think as a black community, whether you are against the movie, for the movie, uh, whether you have criticisms of trauma porn and you don't think it's an issue, we need to be clear mm -hmm. in what we want. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of yells and a lot of asks of this should be a thing or this shouldn't be a thing, but the movies that aren't trauma porn aren't getting as much support. That's my issue. But at the end of the day, I think both sides are valid. And that this is a good conversation. Yeah. yeah. I love the conversation. Yes. Very, fiery. Ooh, very heated, very fiery. A great way to end the season, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, I, I love show. this so Can much. I do it? They're still trying to teach me, y'all. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But I loved this conversation. I love y'all so much. I just loved everything. Nice way to wrap up season two. Right, nice right. way to wrap up season two. And like we always say, we don't talk about it. Think back the times I never had much to give though I was in the center of appreciation from people that I had thought would never pay me no mind but though it's different this time your eyes go blind and now you in the spot that you've been trying to find I never imagined happiness in my position broke fantasize about the cash flows it was my way to cope mama never had no money for the toy I wanted from the store had to live with that ever since age of five years old you never would know how the story goes they killed the woo pop smoke over a watch and now my love for money goes down the drains, the sewers, the desperation We prioritize the wrong things in life Not prepared, a currency vibration Taking no chances, snakes in service Upon this nation, we rise and see the other side Of so-called life we couldn't find Only so much money can do But in between the lines, you really want the happiness You wouldn't take a you dime You wouldn't take a dime so no, you wouldn't take a dime yeah. Like that we've been trying to find I bet you wouldn't take a dime Said no, you wouldn't take a dime, and now you forced to read between the lines because you wouldn't.